Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. This is module three of grade two. Get your name on here first. I always say that because a lot of times people forget and they turn in a homework with no name on it and they can't get credit. So we have uh, draw the following values on the place value charts as you think best. And uh, the important thing about this homework is don't rush it. Uh, a lot of times, uh, second graders at this point of the year, you're working with numbers that are larger than you've ever had to count before. Maybe you're starting to get used to it. Uh, maybe you're still struggling sometimes to figure out what comes next, especially when you go over or backwards over 100 or 200 or 300 or higher. Uh, these, keep in mind that this is always hundreds, tens, and ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Now I'm going to have to erase some of those H's because they're blocking the numbers. So let me try to get those. That's crummy. And these little HTO charts will really help you figure out the numbers you're talking about in the digits. So I'm just going to say that's 241, so it's just, and this says draw them on the place charts as you think best. So we're not just writing the numbers in here. We're drawing 200s, 410s. and one one hundreds one trick for drawing hundreds sometimes it's easier to write the number 100 first and then draw the circle around it so that you make sure you have the you, you can fit the number inside the circle because sometimes if you draw the circle too small it won't fit one ten and two ones. You'll notice that all three of these numbers have the same digits, a four, a two, and a one, but they're in different places. And you're gonna see that a lot on this page. 100, two tens, and four ones. So they all have the same number of disks. If you look at every one of these numbers, they're all gonna have seven, uh, they're all gonna have seven disks. Now we're going to order numbers from least to greatest. The least is the smallest, so we're going to look at the one that has the fewest hundreds first, and that would be the 124. And the largest would have the most hundreds, that's the 412. And the 241 goes in the middle, just like that. And now order the following from least to to greatest in standard form. Three numbers in standard form. And again, this might help you to just think about your HTO chart and just put these numbers in that so you can just see what the digits are supposed to be. Keep it straight in your head. Um, the smallest one is going to have, we'll just look at the hundreds digits. And if they're all different, then we can just look at which one has the fewest hundreds. And that's the 263, so 263, and then the 537, and then the 912. And now th these were already in standard form, but this one's for, for B, these aren't. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write them in standard form if they're not, just so it's easier to look at and I know what number I'm talking about. So 230, that's not 13, it's 230, so it's two, Three zero, oh. and then twenty tens three one twenty tens is two hundred, twenty tens and three ones is two hundred, three, so that's two, zero, three, and of course we have the two hundred thirteen. So they all have the same amount of hundreds, so we can't look at that. So our tiebreaker then we're looking at the tens place digit. So the smallest one for tens would be this guy here because it's got zero tens so it's 203 
and then this one here has just one 10, so it's 213 and then 230. And now we'll look at part C. 400 plus 80 plus 5, that's 485. Now be careful here because now these, you can't just write 485 again because it's not going to work because now it's not 400, it's four ones. So we have the hundreds first, that's 800. 50 is five tens, that's our tens digit, and then four. So that's 854. And here we have 845. So looking from least to greatest, we do have a 400. 85, and then we have to look at which one is the smallest. The two 800s, those are tied at 100, so we have to look at the tens place, and we have 45 versus the 54, so the 845 is smaller, so that comes next, 845, and then 854. And now watch out for this because I messed it up. Greatest to least. You can read it and still forget about it because you just did least to greatest twice, you know, four times in a row. And you could mess it up. So just watch out for this. And same thing. I'm going to write these all in standard form first just so I can look at them in and just think about that HTO chart. And think about hundreds, tens, and ones, just focusing on the digits. So 11 ones is just 11, right? So it's, it's 300s and 11. So it's 311. This is 311. And this is 300 plus a 10 plus a 1. And that's also 311. So it's a three way tie. There's another way to do it. Looking at B. Seven ones, nine hundred. Now be careful, this isn't just 79, because you have nine hundreds. If you think about your HTO chart, right? You've got nine hundreds. There's no tens, so it's zero tens and seven ones. And here we have 79 tens plus 10 tens. That's 89 tens, which is 890. Should have zero ones there. And then we have 970. Now remember, this is greatest to least. So greatest is the most hundreds. We have two are tied at nine. So we look next at the tens place, zero tens and seven tens. So 970 has is, is greater number. It has more tens and the same number of hundreds. So 970 and then the 907. And then we can get in the 890 going from greatest to least. And then we here we have our last one, 15 ones and 400s. So that's, think about your HTO chart, right? You've got 400s and then 15 ones. That's the number 415, just like that. 154, that's already in standard form. And here we have 400s, 50 is five tens and one one. So the greatest of these, is we're looking at the hundreds, those are tied. Uh, this has more tens, right? Five tens versus just that. So th this is the greatest one, 451. And then the 415 is in the middle. And the least is the 154, because it only has 100. So that's it. Just watch out for those. Uh, those digits, uh, you can't just look at. Um, you can't just look from left to right and say that because otherwise you would have looked at this one here and thought that was five hundred uh, fourteen, and it's not. So you got to look at you know hundreds, tens, and ones, and uh, and pay attention to what you're doing. Think about it. Slow down. You get it right the first time. And you'll spend a lot less time doing your homework. Uh, you can also just draw that HTO chart, draw and count.